good morning everybody say good morning say good morning <laughs> we are off to not play group this morning it's actually tuesday so we're not going to play group we're going to a different group instead which is at woolerton hall we were hoping to go for a walk as well but it's a bit rainy so we're gonna have to see what it's like once we're there but we're all dressed and ready to go i've just got to have um, my breakfast and um, also get some water down me this morning and then we'll get ready and then we'll be off won't we yeah you're looking at your foot are you looking at your foot <laughs> so i got a bit lost getting to this place because i'm not sure if i've ever actually been here before but I just put in the postcode and it took me to a housing estate, but it turns out it was just around the corner anyway. So I'm just here now waiting for my friend. It's not really raining, so I think we might still go for a walk, which would be good, because I could do with the exercise. Um, and then they are having coffee and cake in the place where we're going. But I'm kind of on a bit of a health kick at the minute, so I'm not gonna have any cake. Put my hat on because it's super cold but I look like a complete egghead <laughs> look at that though so we are back from a lovely morning just chatting and all of that we went for a nice walk around Woolerton Park which I should have inserted a few clips of um, we're back home now Ella has just been having a little nap she's just woken up but I'm just um, on the Channel Mum website because Ella had a jabs on Friday and she's just been a bit off and I don't know whether it's her jabs or if it's because it's like four months or I don't know so I spoke about this before but basically let me show you it'd be easier channel mom have a chat and support so you go into chat and support here um, and then you can quite easily register or log in here but you have different ones look you've got mental health mom sos miscarriage and baby loss friendship bench pregnancy labor and birth budget money saving and debt media requests which probably wouldn't be um, relevant to most people, seasonal chat, and there's all just different things in here which you can go into. Um, I'm going to go into this one, but you can see how many topics and how many posts are in there, so it's really popular. So I'm going to go in there and ask if anybody's experienced the same thing or if they know what it could be. I think, especially when you're a new mum, so a first-time mum, it can be, I, I mean, it's all a bit of a guessing game anyway, but when you're brand new to this, you are a bit like, is this normal? Is this not? And it's okay reading things on the internet, but a lot of them I find are quite old. So I'm gonna go in here and ask the question and um, hopefully get some replies quite soon. Okay, so I'm just about to post this. Um, and I've just put my little girl is 17 weeks old and had her third set of jabs four or five days ago Since then she's not been drinking her milk as much She's been sleeping more and also been fussy. Is it normal for symptoms to last so long or could it be due to something else? Uh, either like a four-month growth spurt or perhaps a leap I don't know so I'm gonna post that and hopefully I'll get some um, answers So we'll do that now what I'm also going to do is scroll through the other topics and see if I could perhaps uh, respond to some other questions because I think it's nice if you're going to ask questions you kind of pay it forward and respond to somebody else. So I'm going to just go through that now and then I'm going to get myself something to eat. Uh, oh, and Ella keeps kicking her socks off. Have you kicked your sock off? Are you singing? She's getting so vocal, it's really funny.
So I'm home from my mum's now and Ella is in bed, I'm just chilling on the sofa, taking all my makeup up as you can see. Um, I am back on the computer again, I'm working tonight but I'm just checking on the Channel Mums website again. So if you remember earlier I left a um, question about Ella and her feeding after her jabs. And somebody got back to me which um, is really really quick and it's actually one of the channel mum experts it says the channel mum health visitor in residence so she's given me a few um, good bits of information some links um, and she's pretty much saying that it's probably not the jabs it's probably just um, leaps and growth spurts and things like that so I'm really pleased with that so we are just watching joe wicks the body coach and there's a lady on there who's talking about her mum tum getting rid of a mum tum so i'm going to be taking notes watching this so i'm going to finish this vlog for tonight thank you so much for watching see you again next time bye